Hello there. Welcome on this short video that wants to show you how to set up your Honeycomb throttle with the newly released ATR for Microsoft Flight Simulator. As I saw today, the, uh, the plane has been released just a couple of hours ago. There are a lot of people that are struggling to set up the uh, throttles with the uh, Honeycomb. So hopefully this video will give you just a fast idea on how to configure your computer. Sorry for my English, I'm an Italian streamer, so it's not a clickbait. <laughs> I don't want to gain users, it's just to help you out with the first initial configuration. Obviously there are a lot of other things to be done, but at least you can start with this small configuration. So let's go under options and go under control options. So as you can see, we've got the Bravo Throttle Quadrant with the default uh, configuration. So there are two options. One, you create a new uh, a new profile, just pressing open profile and you do plus, or otherwise you go and set up or modify our previous one. I'll show you now briefly how I've set up my for the ATR. So under the power management, we go under throttle. And as you can see, I've set up throttle one axis. That is this one here. The throttle two axis, that is the second one over here. And then there's the throttle one decrease and the throttle two decrease. Throttle one, you just pull it all backwards and it activates the reverses then pulling it back into neutral position it goes back in neutral as you can see and same for number two just pull it back it activates the button and the reverses go on then after having set up the throttle you need to go under propeller and do the same thing for the propeller so now it's not reading Sorry, I'm under the throttle. <laughs> As you can see, the propeller, you move it and it works correctly. Same for the propeller too. And now it's very important. When you pull back the propeller, it will auto feeder the, the, uh, the feeders option. So you need to activate switch one and switch two. So just to show you, I'll go back, go back in the simulator. Do you want to change it? No. Now moving our throttles, they move. Okay, let's uncage this switch. So we move them and it goes all the way up and I move them back to neutral and then Voila, it goes in under reverse. And then you just need to push it back into a normal neutral position. And here is the mixture. We move them. One dot, second uh, position, and then we pull it back. And pull it down, and it goes into the feather position of... <coughs> sorry. Then flaps normal, it has just two positions, take off and land. While uh, regarding the gear switch, I tried to several options. Unfortunately, there's only one option at the moment that is working. I don't know if it will work with SpadXNet next. So you just need to pull it back twice and it will go on. I know it's awkward and then you pull it back and it goes into the off position. Yeah, the solution is just doing it manually. And this is the brake position. It has two positions, parking, emergency, and fully up. So at the moment, there's no solution for the parking brake other than <coughs> moving it twice. So I hope this video was handy. Um, ah, if you want to know about the gear, the parking brake, 
this is the option, the toggle parking brake. Landing gear is the normal up and down, and it works as intended. And the flight control services, the flaps are over here. It's the flap axis. Okay, that's it. And have fun with this ATR. I haven't flown it yet. I'm just trying to understand how to set up all the buttons. See you next time. Ciao.